Hi, I'm Janine, and my daughter Jessica and I own Poppies and Posies Photography, where we specialize in newborns and children, and um, also Props by Posies, where we sell newborn and sitter um, patterns and props. So we're glad you're here. That means you've purchased a pattern, and today we are going to do the Riley Sitter um, Romper, and it has um, goodness, I should maybe shake it off. It has um, the little bum flap in the back and two little ties for the opening in the front. Um, it does not have feet on it like our bare fin. Our bare fin is the newborn size and we don't have the feet on the sitter just because I feel like it's a little more dangerous because they're usually toddling around and um, we don't want them to slip and fall. If you want to add that, you can, um, but I have chosen not to do that on this. So it's kind of like a long john um, without the feet. All right, so that's what we're working on today. So to get started, what you're gonna need is um, your fabric. It's about a yard of fabric that you'll need. And then I have a secondary fabric that I um, use for the bum flap and for the ties. So um, you can do it all with one fabric or you can use a coordinating fabric as well. I just think that adds a little bit of character to it and a little bit of texture like that. Um, you'll need your pattern printed out. Um, and then tape together and cut out. So let me just show you real fast on this. When you're taping, um, you'll get this first page that will show you what you're supposed to have and how they go together. That's kind of your, your puzzle pieces there. And so when you're taping them together, um, you'll just want to butt up the pages together. Just butt them up like this. You'll have a little bit of a, of a break in the solid line right there and at the bottom, and that's just fine. That's what you want. So you just butt them up. You don't fold it. You don't do anything. You just fold, you just butt it up, put tape on it, and cut it out. <clears throat> same with the, um, same with the let, or the, yeah, the body here. Same thing. You're just gonna butt up the edges here. Um, what you're just going to want to make sure is that you have the front, the front, and then the front. There's one more piece to that. And the same thing, you just butt them all up against the edge there, line them up. You'll have a little bit of a gap again on the solid line. That's what you're supposed to have. And then just tape it and cut it out. Okay, and then they'll look like these all cut out. This is what you'll have when you're done. Okay, and then you're also going to need... Um, some the fabric for some ties um, and we will I will show you that once we are cutting out so you'll want to cut out your pattern with your non fabric scissors um, the paper will dull your sewing scissors you'll need sewing scissors for your fabric or um, I use my ro my rotary I almost said rotisserie rotary cutter um, to cut, cut it out you'll need your thread your matching thread I always have a um, little uh, what's it called uh, seam ripper to, you know, in case we make, make a mistake, you can quickly um, have that accessible. And then um, also your um, double-sided um, stabilizing tape. Now, I usually use, a, I use, in the past I have used a Wonder Tape, but I have found this other, uh, I want to say no-name brand, but um, I'll have a link to where you can get that <clears throat> in the instructions. Um, it's a double-sided tape that dissolves with water but it stabilizes your, it, it takes the place of pins and it stabilizes the fabric. So because we're using the knits that tend to like to wave, it stabilizes that so that it doesn't do that. Um, and you will love that. If you don't have a serger, if you have a serger, you don't need it. Your, the serger pretty much takes care of that problem. But if you're just sewing with your sewing machine, um, you will want that, it's awesome. And your pins, um, just in case. I, I use pins sometimes for the sleeves. Um, sometimes I tape, it's just kind of whatever mood I'm in, I guess. So you may want to have both of those. You do not need a mat cutter. I use my mat cutter because I use my rotary cutter. Um, but if you're just using scissors, that's totally fine. I did that for a long, long time. I just switched over to the rotary cutter just a little bit ago. Um, so you can do either one. Okay, so I will go ahead and um, get the fabric ready to go and then I'll, um, we'll start cutting out. Okay, so here we are. I have my fabric and I have folded it and ha folded it the width of, about the width of the, the body there, like that. Um, you wanna make sure that your stretch of the fabric is going across. So you want the stretch to be going across the body like this, not up and down or you'll have a really long, it'll continue to stretch long ways. You want it to go across the body so it can stretch around the baby. Okay, so make sure that that's the way that your fabric is. Lay it down, give me a fold right here. We're gonna cut on the fold. So 
um, which actually means we're not gonna cut the fold, we're gonna just lay the, the pattern right there. This part you do not cut, it's gonna open up into one big uh, back part of the romper. Okay, so we're on the back right now, cutting on the fold. The front, we don't, we don't cut on the fold, we cut all the way around, but on this one we will, so cut on the fold. So I'm gonna start here. Now this is a little bit longer than what my board, my cutting board is, so I'm gonna just do that part with the scissors probably because it's too hard to move the fabric once I start cutting. It just is funny that way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this out. as close as possible to the outline here. Um, people have asked me when you cut out the pattern on the paper where you cut, I always leave the black line showing. And so I just cut right to the outside of that black solid line. And then follow that along with the fabric as well. Okay, and then we don't cut this part, that's on the fold. And then we'll cut up here to the, the crotch. And then I'm gonna grab my scissors and just finish that off. So I don't have to move my fabric. I did that on my um, on the other one that I had made, and it was a hassle. So I'm not going to do that. I need to get a bigger mat. Is what I need to do. And looks like my pattern moved a little bit already. So okay, there we go. So there's that. So this one, when you open it up, it will be a full a full backside. Okay. Now the next one we're going to have two individual half pieces because we're going to cut all the way around that edge. But the same thing, um, I'm just going to cut that off so we can not deal with it. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to fold it up the width, but we're not going to place it right on the fold. So make sure your fabric is smooth and you don't have any folds in it or anything. And if it's got a pattern, this has a little bit of a waffle pattern, so I like to make sure that it's somewhat straight, so it's not, you don't get a funny sideways <laughs> look on the, on the pattern there, pattern of the fabric. Okay, so there's that. Okay, I'm gonna once again place this down, this time. I'm not going to, I need to do a little bit more it looks like, okay. I'm going to place it right there in the middle so that I can go down this side this time. I'm going to cut right around that, okay. Start where my, my board, my mat is, which is right there. I'm going to hold it. You can um, pin your pattern down, that's totally fine. You can use weights to hold it down, I just use my hand. If you are a beginner and you haven't done this very much, I would suggest that you um, place pins down because it, you, you stabilize it with the pins because it can move on you and then it's super frustrating to try and get it back to where you want it, so. And then the crotch. And then once again, I'm going to pick up my scissors and finish it off. Okay, so because we cut all the way around on this one, we will have two separate pieces, okay? And that's what we want. So we're gonna put that to the side, and then we're gonna do the sleeves out of the same fabric. Now, if you wanted to do the sleeves out of a different fabric, that would be totally cute. You could do that. Okay, so here, once again, we're gonna want the, um, the stretch going around the the arm, around the sleeve, around the body. So we are going to make sure that that's the way the fabric's lying. Um, also, I had said earlier um, that we need about a yard of fabric. It's actually about a three quarters of a yard you can get away with. Um, I like to be on the safe side and have 
you know, <laughs> the full yard to play with, but you can get away with three quarters of a yard if you're a, a saver of fabric, you know, if you don't like to waste any. So we're cutting two, so I just doubled the fabric once again, and I'm, we're cutting all the way around on this one as well. And then we'll have two cut at the same time, so you don't have to cut them out twice, cut it out twice. two sleeves. <clears throat> There's two of them there just to show you. And then I'm going to cut off this excess here. Actually I have very little left but you might be able to use it for a bum flap or something so I'm going to keep it. Um, so this is just an extra piece. And then what we're going to do is grab our, our secondary fabric and I'm going to do the bum flap out of this. Now I like to use um, on this fabric, I'm going to do it this way so you can see better. The I like to use the, the edge that kind of has the, it's the salvage edge, I think it's called, um, because it, I think it adds character to it. You've got a little bit of fringy on, part on it, and that's what I had done. I did that on this one just to show you what I mean. So on the top part, it just has that extra little fringe, I guess is what I call it. So that's what I do. So I'm going to just place this right here and I kind of want because it's got stripes I want to kind of match it up and make sure that the stripes are going to be and if I go over here the stripes are going to be kind of offset so I want to have them somewhat set up so I'm going to go about right here and I'm going to have a little bit of this left on this side and a little bit on that side that's how I know I'm kind of in a good spot there and I'm just going to cut that out this is the bum flap and then we'll go ahead and do this, the strips for the ties as well. Okay, so there's the bum flap. It's got the fringes on top. And then I'm going to go ahead. You could probably use that piece, the piece, extra piece for, or extra around that piece for those ties, but I want to show you what I'm going to do here. So on this, um, I should have brought my little ruler hard ruler but I didn't so what I'm gonna do is I said um, four pieces that are about five inches long now that's if you want to do a little tie like this in the front <clears throat> if you're gonna do just a tie just like a knot then that's what I would do if you're wanting to do a bow which would be really cute too then you'd want to do it a little bit longer like around eight inches I would say so I'm going to cut off that fringe because I don't want that for um, for this and I'm going to go ahead and just cut about, it's about about, a, about an inch um, is what I would do. So I'm going to go, I want half and half on my ties. So I'm going to cut this and then if I cut down here a little bit, it doesn't have to be exact. So don't stress about that. So I'm just going to cut about like that. And I'm going to cut um, four of them because I'm going to do two ties. Um, you can do three ties if you want. Um, so one, two, three, that's a little bit thicker than I want, I think, so I'm going to cut a little bit of it off. You can see I'm really scientific about it, so let's make sure they all look somewhat good. That one's a little bit wide. I'm just cut a little bit off of that one, too, until they all look about the same. Maybe a little off that one. Okay, so they're about an inch wide and about, how long is this? This is about... This is long, a little longer, so this is seven inches, but it doesn't need to be that long. But I do, I do like to, once I have them, I do usually um, take a little bit off once I get them tied. I, I trim the edges a little bit, so take some of the length off. So I would start with about that probably, and then just cut from there what you don't, what you don't want after you get it tied. Okay, so there's all of our pieces all cut out. Um, I will line those up so you can see how that how that turned out and what we have to deal with and then we'll go ahead and start um, sewing so here's my two pieces that we're going to sew together like that <laughs> and then we have our full piece that's the ba that's the back so the opening is going to be in the front that's why we have us are going to have a seam down the front 
and then we have our two sleeves and then we have our bum flap that will go like right there on the back and then we have our ties that will go on the front okay so that's what we're starting with um, now before we um, head downstairs I'm gonna go ahead and show you I'm gonna go ahead and um, just tape these together while we're up here on a nice big flat surface because my sewing surface isn't as, as large so that will be nice to do so I'm gonna grab my um, my tape that I have if you don't have tape um, you can go ahead and just pin it together right sides together so what I'm gonna do make sure I think the fabric sides are It doesn't really matter, I guess, which which side, which is the right, and which is the wrong, because it's on this fabric. It's pretty much the same. So I'm going to go ahead and place the tape down, and make sure you're not stretching the fabric if you can help it. You're just placing it down because it's going to keep it wherever you put it. So and then just rip it off. If you rip it off, it tends to leave a little bit of a rougher edge, so you can grab it easier and pull that off and I just did it all the way to the top. You don't want to do the tape all the way to the top. You want to leave it and that was a good mistake on my part to show you. Don't do that because <laughs> um, what we're going to do is we're going to leave it about four inches open about four or five inches. Um, so let's just kind of measure here and see. So I'm going to go, I'm going to say five inches. So I'm just going to take this tape off so that I remember. And I'm also, so I remember, as you can, t you can tell, I've probably made this mistake before. So I'm take that off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, once I put them together like this, right sides together, and just line it up, and then press it down into place, match up the edges. and then press it down into, into place. This will not be connected because we're gonna end up hemming that, folding that, and that'll be our opening. So this is, we're gonna sew from here to here is all. But what I'm gonna do is take a pin and I'm gonna place it right where my tape stopped so that it reminds me to stop sewing right there. So I don't accidentally sew it all the way up. I've done it before. So that's how I remind myself to stop. Okay, all right, let's head down and start sewing. Okay, so here we are at the sewing machine. Um, I have my two uh, front pieces that are uh, taped from the crotch up to up to where I have the pin to remind me not to sew any farther. So we're going to go ahead and start sewing that. Now I usually do a quarter inch um, a quarter inch seam allowance, and also I'm going to do a zigzag. Usually I'll do zigzag just to give it a little bit of a stretch. Um, if you do the straight stitch, it could pop when you're trying to the stitches could pop when you're trying to get it on the on the toddler. So. I'm going to start with um, a zigzag. I'm just going to stitch up to the point of the pin that I placed so that I don't go all the way to the top. And I'm going to start and then I'm going to back stitch a little bit just to reinforce that crotch a little bit. And I'm just going to go straight all the way up. And I think my tension is low. I guess it's okay. I'm just using this edge as my guide to the edge of the fabric. And when I get about to the pin, I'm going to take it out and then I'm going to back stitch and forward stitch again. Okay. Okay, so there we are. Um, as you can see, the tape does a really good job at keeping the fabric pretty flat. Um, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to open this up and we're going to finish this little top piece. So what I like to do is I'm going to snip about a quarter of an inch down from where I stopped. So about just right there I'm going to do that. And the reason you do that is it helps the the seam open up a little bit better and lay flatter right there as you can see. So I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to place it right on that edge starting from where I um, snipped it 
and once again I'm going to pull it off make sure it's down nice and tight but that you're not stretching the fabric peel off that top layer and then it's going to just lay down really nice this is your guide for how big you want that how big you want your seam or your fold over hem okay so you can just use that as your guide so there you go there's one side I'm going to do the other and then when I do this, I'm going to straight stitch because that will look better and we don't have to worry about this part's not going to be being, you know, pulled over the baby or anything. So we don't need to worry about snapping stitches. So same thing, pull off that top part and then we're just going to fold it over. And see by snipping that, that helped us to open up really nice right there for us. Okay, and then we're going to do that. Okay, now we're going to sew it. <clears throat> I'm going to go back to a straight stitch. And I'm going to get this pin out of the way. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up on my left-hand side. I like to see what I'm sewing, and so since this is my edge, I like to be able to see that and know that I'm, I'm doing it right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this inside part of my foot right here as my guide. So the edge of this fabric that I folded over is going to be right along this edge. And I'm actually going to, my needle is going right now, it's right where that red mark is. I'm just going to, my sewing machine, I can just go over one little bit. And that's what I'm going to do. So it's not quite going down the middle, it's going down more the side. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to back stitch just a couple. And it's going to be folded down at the top because we're going to fold down the neckline when we're done. But I like to just give a little bit of reinforcement there. Again, I'm just going to go. Now when you get to the, the bottom, we're going to want to reinforce that bottom part. So we're going to go until we get to that. So about right there, maybe one more. And I'm going to put my needle in the down position right there. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to turn my fabric. And I'm going to go back and forth right there at that V so that it just reinforces it so it doesn't split open. Okay, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go down to about where I'm going to turn it to go back up. And then I'm going to back stitch and go back and then I'm going to go forward again. And then when I get again to that part, which was right there and I didn't stop, <laughs> um, I'm going to put my needle in the down position and then I'm going to turn my fabric again. Okay, so there we are. Slip that real quick, that out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to go back up again. I'm using this as my guide for the edge of the fabric. And I'm, for some reason, going backwards. Okay. And I'm going to go all the way up to the top. And then I'm going to back stitch just a smidge a couple times. This is what it looks like. So we have, I use thread that matches really, really, really well. <laughs> so it's gonna be hard for you to see, but I've zigzagged across, or not zigzagged, I straight stitched across here, you know, three, I went down, back, and down again. So three times across, and then back up again, okay? And gee, I couldn't have bought, a, I couldn't have used a better thread. You can't even see the sewing on that. Um, hard for a tutorial, but good for the, <laughs> the outfit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to um, hem the neckline of this one, and I'm going to grab my, my um, backside as well and do that neckline too at the same time. So just take your tape or your pins, whichever you're going to do. I do a quarter. I like to do a quarter inch. That's the other nice thing about this tape is it just gives you that quarter inch guideline of where to go, where to fold down. So peel it off and then just fold it over that quarter inch. So when you're looking to buy this tape, make sure you use my link or that you are that you uh, pay attention to the size and you want a quarter inch. Okay, I'm gonna just do a little tiny of a stretch there. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side and I'm folding it towards the back side of the fabric. So this is my seam right here. You know, this, so it's the inside of the, of the romper. Make sure you don't sew towards the front. You'll be mad at yourself. 
Okay. Same thing on this one. Peel that down. Or not peel it. Um, just fold it down. And on, on the curve, I tend to like to just stretch it just a just a smidge so it folds nicer. It just doesn't get as... Okay, so there we go. And once again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use that edge inside left edge of my foot as my guide and I've my um, needle is still over and I'm gonna straight stitch. Don't wanna start for some reason. Stitch at the edge there. Doesn't want to come back this way. I'm gonna go forward. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and do that other side, and then we're gonna grab the back. Same, same thing. There's that edge. And when you have it folded over, it's kind of, you have to, I pull my thread to kind of help me get it through because it's a little thicker and it doesn't want to cooperate very well. So I kind of pull, help pull it through. Not too hard because you'll snap them or it'll come through too far and you'll have a big gap in your stitches. So just be careful, but just to kind of help it nudge it along. Okay, and then we're going to back stitch there too. Oh, and my thread broke. I don't know why that happened, but... Okay, there's that one, that side. And that's what it looks like from the front, like that. And I always suggest that you, um, that you press it with an iron too, so that it lays nice and flat. So when we're all done, we, we can do that. Okay, so there's the front. I'm gonna grab the back, and we're gonna do the back neckline also. So I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to make sure that I have the front and the back side of the fabric the same if I can. It's really tricky on this one. I think this is the right side. So I'm going to turn it wrong side out and I'm going to, with the wrong side of the fabric facing up, and I'm going to go ahead and just tape right along that neckline again, making sure that you're not stretching the fabric A very good angle here, probably. Break it off. Make sure it's down well. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold it over. So we'll go a quarter inch again folding it over and like I said see how this is kind of you can either you can stretch it just a smidge with that tape the tape will stretch a little bit or you can even take a little snip in that right there if you wanted to do that and that would help it lay a little bit better so there we are okay so I can't sew it yet because my my thread broke so I will go rethread that and then I will be right back so I got my needle threaded again and I am going to do the same thing using this, um, this inside left of the foot as my guide. And I'm gonna grab my, my thread as well. And I'm gonna back stitch and go forward. And I'm just keeping that edge of that fabric that I folded over right along this edge. And then I'm going to backstitch just a couple. Okay. 
And now we are going to, now that that's done, this is what that looks like. And then we're gonna sew up the, the shoulders. So we're gonna place um, right, sides to, right sides together. So we're gonna take the back that I have right here in the front, and I'm gonna put right sides together. Okay, so that's the right side. That's where my nice hem is. And then the, this is the right side. And I'm just going to match up those shoulders. And I'm gonna place some tape on there as well. Right, on the, right along that edge. And then just match that right up to the edge. Make sure that that matches up right there at the edge as well. Okay, and we'll do the other side. Same thing. It's hard not, this fabric is, this waffle, any waffle fabric is usually pretty stretchy, so it can be a little bit tricky too. I wanna make sure you're, I, that looks like I stretched it just a smidge, but I'm gonna make it work. So once again, right side to right side, and just match it right up. <clears throat> I like to do the edges first, usually when I'm matching things up. I do the edges first, and then I kind of make it work. If you get to a point where it's like that, and you have a little bit for some reason, it just, your fabric has stretched or whatever, <laughs> then I will usually not do that. Usually, gosh, it has stretched a little bit. So usually what I'll do, let me get that tape back on, and is I'll just hold on to that tape and stretch it just a smidge like that until it kind of matches up. Okay, like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sew this one. And um, on this, I'm going to go ahead and, I'm gonna zigzag it just for fun. Because it might get a little bit stretched as you're getting it on and off the, the baby. So, I didn't hang on to me, there we go. Back stitch a little bit there, and then forward. And on this one, I'm using my this edge as my guide, trying to. Here, it's kind of... And then just back stitch again. Cut off that extra tape if you have some. And cut off the thread there. And do the same thing on this side. So now we have, this is what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so we're like this. This is where we're at. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the sleeves. So what I'm gonna have you do is lay your, open up, open it up, and lay it with the, the nice seam that you just did up. So you, that's the right side of the fabric is facing up. Okay, and we're gonna grab one of your sleeves and we're gonna find the middle of the sleeve. And once again, I wanna make sure, I really, this fabric is so funny, you can't really tell, so I'm going with this. So what you wanna do is find the center of your sleeve by folding it in half, like that. Okay, then there's, there's your center. And I grab a, a pin and just place a pin there so you know that that's the center, okay? And you're gonna place the sleeve like this onto your outfit. Now you want this, you want your needle where you just placed your needle, you want that to be right on the center of your seam. Okay, so right to where your seam is. And then what I do is I just take that pin off and I just repin it together. Okay, so you know that that's on right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tape this time, a lot of times I use pins on my sleeves 
I don't know why, it's just um, what I'm used to, I guess. But um, tape is really great for sleeves, so I wanna show you how it works as well. So I'm gonna go on this side. Um, and I'm just gonna do it in two. You could do it in one swoop if you wanted to, but I'm gonna go in two pieces here. And make sure you're not stretching. This fabric is so stretchy. So make sure you're not stretching your fabric best that you can. And I'm gonna try and cut off a little bit extra so I can get over that little, I can kind of overlap on that. Okay, then I'm going to peel off that tape. And that was cut already for some reason. Now let's go to this end where I can grab it better. Okay, make sure that's down. And then, okay, so now I have it all taped. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go like this, make sure the, the middle is kind of, is pressed down and into place. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over to the edge and I'm gonna place my, the edge of my, the end of my sleeve to that end so it's matched up. And then I'm gonna come back and do everything in the middle. Okay. So I'm just going to just make sure that all matches up well. And just, you gotta just form it to, it's not the same shape, so it's kind of tricky to, to deal with, especially with fabric now. So if I just grab it and kind of stretch it just a smidge, if needed. Uh, this is the stretchiest fabric. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull this down just a smidge here and just work with it, work it in. And then that tape just snapped, but that's okay. And have just a little pucker right there. So I'm gonna try and, and you know, it's really even okay if you have a pucker or two up, up on the top around here because it just makes it, it just looks kind of like it's a, a ruffled little, you're not gonna see it. But there, I got it pretty close. I didn't line that up super good as far as the, edge but try again there okay so that's what it looks like on that side I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side I'm gonna match up this end and then everything in between and as you can see that just stretches so much And then, whoopsie. Okay, have that all pressed down. I have a little bit of a, taking that pin out because I have it down already. And I have a little bit of a gap there and it looks like it was because the tape was overlapping and pulling it. So just got that part. You don't wanna stretch it too much, so. Okay, so there we go. There's a little, see that you can see a little bit of extra there? No big deal going to it could have been the way I cut it it could have been some snipping it okay so now what I'm gonna do is zigzag that right on and then we'll go ahead and do the other side okay so I'm using again this is my guide and my needle is at the center I don't know if I had to set it back or not and I did so oops and I need to grab my thread here okay and I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, back stitch and then forward. And then just follow the shape of that sleeve, keeping that edge, and try, like this is really pulling, so I'm just gonna grab it so it doesn't bring it up, so it doesn't pull. If it's hanging down, it tends to pull the fabric and that, so you don't wanna do that if you can help it. Keep that edge right around along the edge of the foot. Make sure that you're not grabbing anything, you know, make sure your fabric is laying pretty flat underneath so you're not grabbing it on accident. And you'll also want to make sure that your, um, your shoulder seam is laying flat. And whatever way you lay it, it doesn't really matter, but just make sure you do the other one the same way. It just lays nicer and more symmetrical that way. 
And you know, I'm gonna go this way. I like to do it so that it folds. It's going down when I'm sewing. So I'm gonna fold it down. Sleeves are always a little bit intimidating, but really once you do it, they're so, so easy. It's just kind of frustrating because of the shape. You're kind of forming a different shape, you know, matching up different shapes, but it all works out in the end. Back stitch. Cut my extras and then I'll show you what it looks like. And then I will go ahead and do the other side. Um, So that's what it looks like when it's sewn, it's just like that. And then you flip it over and there you have a sleeve. Okay. And then what we'll do is hem it the sleeve and then sew up the sides and we're almost done. Actually, we'll do the bum flap first, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other sleeve. I'm not gonna make you watch and then um, I'll be back. Okay, so here we are, we have both sleeves in. Um, they're still not sewn up along the side. We're going to do that in a minute. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and hem the sleeves. Um, so, in, so turn the wrong side of the fabric up and grab your tape. And you're going to just put place the tape along the wrong side of the fabric on the end of the sleeve without stretching it. Peel it off and fold it up. Just that quarter inch. Using the tape as your guide. There you go. And then I'm gonna straight stitch it using that inside edge as my guide against that raw edge. And I'm going to scooch my needle over one. You don't have to do that, but I like it more closer to the edge, so. Stitch that up. And that's done. Look at these split. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the other side. And again, on the wrong side of the fabric, we're going to place the tape on the edge here again. That's a little extreme. And then just fold it up that quarter inch. And once again, straight stitch. Back stitch just a smidge. And those are hemmed. Okay, so what we need to do is um, is do the bum flap before we sew up the sides. It just makes it easier to deal with a flat, you know, a flat um, open piece than to do it after it's sewn together. And I think I lost my pieces. Let me grab them. I can lost my table here. Put them over here. Okay, so grab your bum flap piece of fabric and. We are going to go, and we're just gonna place it on there. So go ahead and grab your tape. But I like to tape it on there. It's very nice to get it taped on. So I'm finding the, this is the wrong side of my fabric on the bum flap. So I'm gonna grab my tape and I'm gonna place some tape 
right along the edge. I usually don't do, okay, here's a couple options for you. I usually don't hem it um, if it's a fabric like this. If it's a more, if it's, you're using the same fabric or I don't know, it's totally up to you, but you can just hem it like this and then sew it on. Um, you know, what I would do is I would fold that over, take the tape off, fold it over, and then place another piece of tape and place it on. And then just sew it once, you know, but it's just so it has a finished edge. But because I'm using this fabric, I'm not going to, I'm not going to finish the edges. So I'm just going to place it on there. Another thing that you can do is I'm going to just place it on like this and sew around like this. Kind of like you would a patch or um, a faux pocket or whatever. But there's also a way where you can you can just sew it. You, you, you flip this down like this. And this is the wrong side of the fabric. And you just sew like this along the bottom. And then you go like this and move it up. And then you've got that folded little edge there that looks makes it look more like a bum flap. And then you just can sew up those edges. So however you want to do that. I'm just going to... Plot mine on, I think, and do it that way. Um, but you can do whatever you can do whatever you want. You can, you know, make it look like it's. Oopsie, on there. I didn't even take that off quite yet. But and I'm gonna go along the bottom. And then I usually don't go along the top. You certainly can if you want to. Um, I just like the look of it being more open. Um, so it looks like it can, like it's a real flap that can go down, even though. We make it so that it's not, <laughs> but um, can if you want. And then I'm gonna just go along this side and then I'll place it. I usually place it a couple inches up from the crotch and I will show you that. So I'm using that as the top because I like the frayed look there. And I'm gonna go about like that, and you have to take into you know take into consideration to have about an in, a quarter inch seam right there. So I about an inch and a half. I wish I had a ruler. I don't have a ruler, but about an inch and a half to two inches up from the crotch. Okay, and then just make sure it's centered here. Um, and I just eyeball it is what I do. You can measure if you'd like. If you feel better about that, you can certainly measure it. And then once I feel pretty good about it, I just lay it down, make sure it's nice and flat. And then I make sure that my, my other side, my front is over there. Make sure you're sewing onto the back. This is my back because it doesn't have the opening. So I'm on the right one. And then you can zigzag or straight stitch on here. I'm going to go ahead and straight stitch, I think. And I'm just gonna use this edge as my, my guide. And I'm gonna go down here, across and up and then I'll sew on the two tassels right here, um, which I did not cut in the beginning. So I forgot about that. So I've got to go get that. But okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sew. I'm going to um, straight stitch and I'm going to back stitch here. Um, and just go all the way down. When I get to about a quarter of an inch from the bottom, I'm going to put my needle in the down position. About right there. And I'm going to turn it and so across the bottom and I'm going to backspace here just to kind of give a little bit more support at that corner and then go all the way across my fabric isn't exactly um, square because it's so it's an open sweater knit so I'm gonna kind of adjust it a little bit there but that's the look I like I like it to look a little bit raw so it's not gonna be perfect that's good okay I'm gonna back stitch down here okay now here you can either do on my, I should have brought the other one down and I didn't, but the, on the other one I did two little bows. So I just sewed two strips um, on right here and then tied a bow and that keeps that up and from gape, gaping open. And, or you can do buttons. I've done buttons many a times, especially on boys, I do buttons. 
Um, but I thought the bows looked cute on that other one. So I'm going to go grab um, a little bit of fabric of this fabric um, to do a bow and show you how I do that. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. On this one that I did, I did the two bows. And it's sewn together to keep this flap from, from you know, drooping down. So that's what we're going to do. Um, what I do on that, I just grabbed um, some fabric. This is about 12 inches long. Um, you, it's probably overkill, but then you can trim off some. Um, you can do it however, you know, however you want. But this is about an inch wide and about 12 inches long. And I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to use this as my guide because I have it, My but it's about an inch and a half probably over from the side. I'm going to go right in the middle of my pink stripes right here. And all I'm going to do is find the middle of this. Um, and you don't have to be exact on that because you're, you're probably going to end up trimming it anyway. So do the ha do the half point on there. I'm just going to go along and just and just sew that straight stitch that on. So make sure you're you're only on your single layer here. And then I'm just going to take that and, and actually you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to kind of fold it right there so that when I do it, it's not quite as thick. So I'm going to. I just folded it in half right in the middle there. And I'm just going to uh, straight stitch back and forth. I'm going to do it a couple times. Three times. So I'm going to go forward, back, and forward again. And then cut that and do the other one. Okay. Now I'm going to do the other one. I'm going to do it again right in the middle there. And I'm going to fold it. Again, right there, and I'm gonna get the middle about, and I'm gonna go right in the middle, and I'm just gonna look and see how far down I went. So about a quarter of an inch to half an inch. Just try and match them up pretty good, the best you can. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do the same here. Whoopsie, right about the middle of the pink. And I'm going to go down, back, and down again. Cut it off. And then we will tie the bows. And you'll see how you can just trim it to the, whatever you want it to be. Get all these threads off first. Drive me crazy. Okay. All right. So here we have our little tassels here. And didn't cut that off, I didn't cut that off. Okay, so now we're just gonna take it and tie a bow. So just grab it, take it and tie a bow. And then you can, however long you want the little things to be, or however short, I should say, you want them to be, is fine. So I like them, mine a little bit shorter. So I'm just gonna go up like that. And then same on this one, I'm just gonna, Grab it. And it's nice to have enough to kind of grab and deal with. It's frustrating when you're trying to use little tiny ends. So that's why it's kind of nice to have it open that a little bit. Okay. Open that a little bit as well. Okay, there we go. And that one's already pretty short, so Match that one up a little bit more, and then those will need to be a little bit shorter as well. And you can kind of play with it until it's the way you like it, but just for okay. All right, there's the bows. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to sew it together. Um, so we're going to right sides together. And let me think the best way to show you. So I have such little working space here. Okay, so right sides together. I am going to tape. And so I'm going to start. And tape on the bottom, of course. So I'm going to go along the sleeve here. This is going to be two different pieces. I'll do this one. And then I'll just... Go to there and then take that off and get that settled and then we'll do the other 
side, or the other, the long part. So I'm going to match up the ends here of the arm, make sure those are lined up real well. Um, I have the tape on the wrong side for a minute. Okay, there we go. And then what I'm going to do is come over to the seam, and I'm going to make sure the seams are matched up as closely as possible, just by, you know, just by visualizing it. But I'm just going to try and get those seams really so they're as close as possible. It's not the end of the world because you don't see the armpit anyway when you're taking pictures, but I like to have it as close as possible. And then you're just going to match up this edge along the sleeve. And that's all lined up and pressed down. Then I'm going to go ahead and do this long side. You're not stretching the fabric once again, and that you're pressing down that tape well. Go to the end, and then pull it off. Okay, so you got that on there. Just peel it off, and then just match it up. And I'm gonna come down and match up the end of the leg because that's what I like to do. <laughs> and then I do everything in between. And usually you can just, I mean, if you've cut it out pretty good, pretty straight, you can just kind of lay it down and not worry about having too much or too little or whatever. I'll line right up. Okay. Okay, we're good. So that's all lined up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do all one swoop. So we're gonna start, and I would do zigzag on this because this is the part that gets pulled and tugged when you're putting it on the baby. So I'm gonna start right at the end here. Grab my my threads and I'm going to backstitch because it's not going to be caught in any other seam. This is the end of it, so make sure you get a good backstitch on that. And I don't like the fabric pulling, so make sure you pull it up if it's pulling. And I'm just using this side as my guide. And then when you come to the to the arm seams, um, you want them facing the same way. And because that's going this way so nicely, I'm going to pull the other. The bottom is going to be going up as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So that's kind of tricky. It, it, I'm just doing that because it's laying that way really well up here. Um, otherwise, I'd kind of like it to go down the way that I'm sewing. But I'm going to as I get closer to that area. I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to put my needle down and kind of lift up and adjust that under the foot so that it's not folding up or bunching or anything. Just make sure that it's, you might have to do that twice if needed. And just make sure that it's nice and smooth. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and finish going all the way down the side here. That's good. So we've sewed it all the way from there all the way down. 
We haven't done the crotch yet. That will be after we hem the, the bottoms. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew up this other side and then I'll come back and actually let's just hem, let's hem one of these and then I'll do the other side and hem the other side, okay? So let's go to the hem. So you're gonna wanna put um, the wrong side of the fabric facing up. This is the leg, okay? Did, I, did that show good enough? Um, let me show you where I'm at. Okay, so like this. So I just sewed that together. So I'm going to take it um, with the wrong side of the fabric up and I'm gonna get rid of all this garbage. And we're gonna just place some tape right along the, the bottom edge and do the same thing as we did with the arms, just fold it up. And make sure your seam is laying down. And you're not stretching the fabric. Press it down real well. And then you're gonna fold it up again, just that little quarter of an inch using the tape as your guide. All the way across. And then you can zigzag or straight stitch. I like to straight stitch my, my um, hems. So I'm going to straight stitch it. And I'm gonna move my needle over again, just one little hair. And I'm gonna use that inside edge again as my guide this inside edge of the foot. Move back a little bit. And when you get to that seam, sometimes it can be a little fussy about going through, so just help it along if you need to. So then when I come back, after I do the other side, and I hem up that other side, um, all we'll have to do is the crotch and then sew on the tassels in the front and we're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, do this other side now. And I will come back when that when this other side is done and we will, and I'm gonna hem, hem that, that pant as well. And then I will come back and we will do the, the crotch and the tassels, okay? All right, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here we are. I've done both sides. Both sides are sewn up, and I have both um, legs hemmed at this point. So all we have left is the crotch and then the ties. So I'm going to go ahead and put some tape along the, um, the edge of the crotch, starting at the base of the, the end of the leg here, making sure not to stretch the fabric, which is very hard to do with this fabric. And you can do, I, I like to do halfies on this one, just so I don't have to do that curve so crazy-like. And then I and then I kind of just do it like a V, kind of right there. And then pull it down this way. Okay. And then just peel that up. And the other one as well. And then you're gonna just match up the ends here. And the middle is good. And then just around the, the sides. And it should pretty much just fall into place like, like it has. Pretty much here. Okay, and then this one as well. I'll go down and match up the bottom. Pull that back a little bit and it'll fall into place. Okay. There we go. So it's taped into place. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and for sure I'm gonna zigzag this and I'm just going to go a smidge more than the, well, a quarter.
quarter inch. I'm going to just go a little bit. I'm just going to hang over just a smidge on this edge. I like it to have a little bit more, if possible, around the crotch just because that's where it gets stretched the most. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit more than a quarter. Back stitch because you're at the end of the line here. I'm not going to have any more seams. So. so I'm keeping it just barely over the... Just barely over the edge here. And then make sure that you're not getting anything else. Make sure it's nice and smooth underneath as you're sewing. Whoopsie, and I got close. Lost my tension there. Okay, we're going around that top edge. Coming back down. And again, I'm just keeping a little bit over the edge there. And this for some reason. Ah, uh, it wasn't matched up very well. And then back stitch to the end here. And then we're gonna trim those edges. And then I like to do, if you've not seen my uh, tutorials before, um, I like to show you that I, I, do tr I do trim up and around the, this is gonna be difficult because you can't see the thread very well. I'm gonna turn it over so you can see it better on this side. Dush a little better without the seam. And I like to just trim just right up just little notches right up to where the seam is, but not over the seam where you'll get a hole. I have a piece of tape there. It's bothering me. So I just take a snip, just like that, and it just helps it not pucker quite as much, but you gotta make sure you're away enough from the seam so that you don't go over the seam. Okay, so that's what it looks like without going over the, the seam. Okay, so now let's turn it right side out, and then we just have the ties on the front to do, and we are done. So right side out, it's looking so cute. Wish I had some like this to wear. <laughs> um, it is a little bit slouchier look, um, and so they are a little bit on the baggier side, um, which is fine. Um, if you like a little snugger look, then you can certainly take it in a little bit all around the pattern, but that's what it looks like. And that's the back. Now, see how the bows are kind of sideways? If that bothers you, you can just take a little, um, you can just take a little tack, you know, like with needle and thread and keep it, um, just take a needle and thread and tack it right there so it doesn't go sideways like that. Um, okay. All right, so let's do the, um, the tassels in the front. So I like to do two tassels, and so I do one here at the top, and then I do one here almost to the bottom, about a three quarters of an inch from the bottom. And all I do, like I'm keeping mine raw, and you can do what you want, so I, I'm pulling this, this curls up, and so I wanna know which way it's curling, so I kind of fold it there, fold it in a little bit, and then I do it on the outside. You can certainly do it on the inside if you like that look better. I like my look on the outside. It's just, I don't know why, I just do. So I'm going to take this, um, I'm going to straight stitch. Um, and I'm. it doesn't really matter exactly how much I hang over because I'm gonna trim it, but just try and get it about the same. And then I usually will try and go right around where the, same, where the seam is, the hemming seam of this side. So about right there, okay? And make sure you're not catching the underneath. Make sure that you're getting just a single layer here. And put it right up in your sewing machine. And I'm just gonna go up and back, up and back. So down, back, down. And then I'm gonna back stitch just a smidge there. Again, at the bottom. And that's what it looks like. And then once I get the other one sewn on, I'll show you that we just 
then I just match it up and so I grab another one stretch it to see which way the curl goes it's going that way just fold it up and I'm going to do one about right there um, you could do three if you wanted you could do just one if you wanted whatever you want again make sure you're not catching anything underneath stick it in there Make sure you go all the way to the end, and then I can just back switch it a little bit at the very end. Um, so I just I eyeball it. Um, I've got it about a, about three quart. Uh, is that about an inch? About an inch from the bottom, and then right up towards the top, maybe a quarter of an inch down from the top. Yeah, about a quarter inch maybe. Okay, and then I'm just gonna match it up on the other side and do the same thing. So here's my other one, and I'll just kind of fold that over each other. And I already know, whoops, you want to go this way. <laughs> Make sure that your ends are the right spot. So I'm going to do the same thing, about a quarter of an inch down. Make sure it's a single layer. And I'm going to go down, whoops, to the end, back up. And that's that. Okay. And then what I'll do, well, I'll just go ahead and get the other one sewn on first. I didn't get that, sorry. Okay. Then we'll do the last one. Fold that over and just want to make sure I get it matched up pretty well there. So just about like that. Push the underside away again. So you just got a single layer and exactly where I want to be. Down, down. Okay, and then I will show you how we snip those edges and then we are good to go. It's done. It's a quick sew. That's what I love about this pattern. It's fairly quick. Depends on how much um, detail you want to give it. Um, but so you could do here. Okay. So first of all, let's look at these. So this one, I have about that much. So you got to go kind of go with the shortest one that you've got. Um, and that's probably about the shortest right there. So you'll just want to just kind of match it up a little bit. So just, I just take it and cut off enough that it's kind of matchy matchy. And those are already pretty good. Just make sure you don't snip your outfit or you'll be super mad at yourself. And then um, here you can just do, I you can just do a knot or you can do a, a bow. I think I have enough here that I could get away with a bow. Yep. So um, on the other one I did, I did, a, I did the knot. Um, you can do whatever you want. So there's the bows and I would probably, I would probably, um, Trim those up a little bit so they're not quite as long. Myself, it's just whatever look you like. And there it is. Front and back with threads all over the place. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alrighties, we are done. And we need to press, as you can see. This is kind of... Um, I don't know why that's quite so. Usually when you um, cut like that, I think it's probably the tape has something to do with it, but okay, it's done. Okay, so we are finished. Um, I came up and ironed uh, a little bit. Um, 
and fiddled with the, the bows a little bit on the way I, look, I wanted them. So there's the final product, and here's the back. Cute. So um, be sure to, if you're, if you're not already a member of our Facebook group, make sure you do that. It's um, Props by Posey's VIP Pattern Group, I believe it is, <laughs> VIP Pattern Group. Uh, make sure you join, um, you just hit the join button and then we will um, make sure you've purchased and then get you in the group. There's almost a thousand members and they are a fabulous resource of women um, who answer questions and are very kind and it's a great support group. So um, make sure you join if you're not already a member of that. Um, and if you are already a member, make sure you keep contributing, keep asking questions, keep answering questions and um, just be a part of that of that group. We, I love that community and it's, it's been great for us. Um, if you're ready for another pattern, go ahead and go to our um, Props by Posies Etsy shop or um, uh, propsbyposies.com is our website. You can purchase off of there as well. And we have uh, sitter patterns and newborn patterns, so make sure you check them all out and we will see you um, on the next pattern.